Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start right here. Researchers at MIT have developed a new tool that allows them to accurately model one of the less understood processes that allows cancer to metastasize. The device is a microfluidic platform, a model of a human circulatory system grown from actual umbilical cord endothelial cells. When tumor cells are pumped through the simulated circulatory system, the process by which some of the cells escape the bloodstream in order to spread to other tissues of the body can be observed as it happens for the first time and recorded using high resolution time lapse photography. In this image, we can see the cancer cell tinted green emerging from the red blood vessel. The researchers who conducted the study hope that their microfluidic model can be used to develop new drugs that can slow or even prevent the metastasization of cancer. Next, even more encouraging news from the cancer front as a study conducted at the University of Alabama has identified two proteins that enable malignant glioma cells to spread throughout the brain. The proteins, called SRC and NWASP, allow certain types of glioma cells to survive and actually become more motile when subjected to treatments that reduce oxygen levels around the cells by halting the formation of new blood vessels. Blocking these proteins renders the glioma cells unable to move and makes them more susceptible to low oxygen treatments. Obviously, these proteins are now very attractive targets for new drugs. Blocking these proteins or developing some other method of limiting the movement of glioma cells could become an integral part of treating brain cancer in the very near future. Finally, a team of researchers at the Smithsonian has developed a new method for helping some of those who struggle with dyslexia, and it involves using one of these, an e-reader. The Smithsonian team tested 103 students with dyslexia and found that in most students whose dyslexia was tied to a visual attention deficit, reading speed and reading comprehension improved when text was read from a small handheld e-reader that had been configured to display only two or three words per line. The Smithsonian has set up an online resource to educate teachers, parents and students on how to configure e-readers to help those who struggle to read with visual attention deficits. You can visit this resource at readeasy.si.edu. A microfluidic device enables scientists to model one-way cancer spreads, researchers identify proteins that allow cancer to spread in another way, and scientists at the Smithsonian prove that e-readers can help overcome dyslexia. And here's one last bit of good news that I heard about right before I stepped in front of the camera. On Friday night, Marina High School in Huntington Beach, California, elected Cassidy Lynn Campbell, its first transgender homecoming queen. Congratulations, Cassidy. Good for you, students at Marina High, and special thanks to Bass Bait, a regular commenter on this channel, and a Marina High alumnus for telling me about this story. And that's the good news. Is that really that bad? I'm gonna say no.